Statement from a coach and then go into questions. Yeah, uh, big win for us today, obviously finishing the tournament with a, a win against a very tough Mississippi team. Um, you know, Millie got to start, uh, gave us a couple of really good innings. Valerie came in a relief and did what Valerie does, shut them down for the rest of the game. Um, offensively, a lot of credit goes to their pitching staff. They used three pitchers against us, shut us down today. Um, but we found a way to win, you know, uh, Garcia, and Vieira with back-to-back -back doubles, that was huge. Um, clutch hitting by Abby in that situation. And that took a little pressure off of us. Um, and then, you know, we scored with a lot of walks and errors, um, put another four runs on the board. And that's something we've been working on is in with runners in scoring position, being a little bit more selective. So last week we struck out a lot in those situations and, and today we drew um, four walks in that inning. So. Um, really proud of our team, the way we've we've grown in that area, and uh, big win and getting ready for Georgia Bulldogs on Wednesday. You referenced it uh, once there, but you know even going back to yesterday, you've had a couple of real battles where your team has really battled this weekend. Um, tell me, tell me about that aspect of your team and where that fight comes from. Yeah, I think you know we have a lot of leaders on our team, so they're they're experienced in close games, so nobody presses a panic button. Um, you know, it certainly helps, um, you know, when you've been through the grind and you've played in a lot of close games like we have. And, you know, I think this year we've got five one-run victories. So um, we're used to playing in tight games, and I think it shows. And then we also talked in the preseason about your scheduling and how you made your schedule this year. Mm -hmm. What that is, now you're three weeks in, you've had some close games, but you've got a lot of good wins. How do you feel about that scheduling philosophy a few weeks into the season? Yeah, I think, you know, when you play a tough schedule, it's only going to prepare you for what's going to happen later on down the road, you know, and we have high aspirations for this team. We want to win a championship and, you know, we, we've used the kind of the term, you know, iron sharpens iron and, and uh, we're playing a very tough schedule for a reason. It's going to prepare us later on down the road. Coach, talking about preparation, next game, massive in Athens against Georgia. So how does the preparation with this momentum, the Clemson Classic to win all your games, carry over to Athens? Yeah, I think it's big momentum boost for us. We know Wednesday is going to be a you know, a big crowd and a big game and, you know, certainly two top 10 teams going at it. So, um, you know, we've, every year we've played them, it's been pretty close with the exception of one of the games. So we know it's going to be a battle and um, we know we have to bring our A game. And then speaking about the attendance here, it's been absolutely amazing softball. So how can we talk about the fans and how much they've meant so far to this opening weekend? Yeah, you know, ever since we've opened up McWhorter Stadium, our fan has been outstanding and it's, it's helped us, you know, last night and the, in the big win against UConn, you know, the crowd was into it. Um, it. It's just a special environment to play in. We're very blessed and grateful for our fans. And, you know, it's, it's just an electric environment. And I know our players love it.